Hi, everyone. It's Bev DeBono, and I have a fast, fast trick for half-inch strips that I can't wait to share with you. Um, when we play with our, our pages and our collections, a lot of times we end up with a lot of scraps um, like this, and we're not sure what to do with them. Well, I want to show you a really quick way that you can turn those scraps into another couple of pages. So to get started, what you need to do is decide what theme you want to use. You see this one was a snow theme. This is the new graduation uh, collection that just came out. This particular one is called Tropic Time. And what I did was, I'm gonna do a, a Tropic Time page tonight. So I gathered my strips. Okay, so these are the strips that I'm gonna use. And really it, the longest thing that, that the, it takes the most time to pick out your coordinating strips. So you can use four colors, five colors, six colors, doesn't matter how many you use. Um, the point is you're going to need 24 strips. Okay, and those strips are all going to measure half inch wide by five inches long. And we need 24 um, coordinating strips. So if you've got larger pieces, like I have strips that look like this, um, it's really easy to just put them in your 12 inch trimmer and cut them at the half inch mark. So the half inch mark is our first line. So you wanna cut half inch first. Okay, and then five inches. and um, continue to go along um, with that. But let's say you have um, a piece that's um, like this, that's not, might be a little bit bigger than a half an inch. Don't worry about it. If it's slightly bigger than the half an inch, it's okay. Um, it's probably going to just blend in somehow, but we're gonna just cut that at the five inch mark. So. Go ahead and cut 24 strips at half inch by five inches. And I am just cutting strips that I have had um, extras of. Okay, so that's how you cut on the big trimmer. But if you have the small trimmer and you're not sure um, where to cut, what you want to do is line your paper up. So if you have a larger strip like this and you're you're not sure, I have a, I have a strip like this that might move around in the big trimmer. So I'm gonna use my smaller trimmer. And I actually just made a line at the edge of my smaller trimmer to just mark the five inch mark um, because the trimmer only has lines for four and three quarters. So with my pencil, I just made another quarter of an inch mark there. So I know where the five inch mark is going to be. All right, and then I'm going to just turn my paper on its side and cut at the five inch mark. And sometimes I feel that um, this one might be easier to use when you have smaller strips like this because it's not going to wiggle around as much. So you see this strip is actually one inch wide and one inch on this trimmer is the one inch mark here. But if I put it under my plastic holding guide, usually a half an inch is right at the edge of the, the plastic holding guide here or 
you can line it up to the outside edge of your handle right there. And that is about a half an inch. Okay, and I find that on these, because it has the guide to hold down with your fingers here, that I have better um, control over smaller strips like this when I'm going to cut. Okay, so that's on this trimmer. We have the same thing with the older version. <clears throat> which is this bluish, uh, the bluish one. So it's the same uh, concept. I uh, put a little mark at the edge here of where five inches is going to be. I just, because um, the trimmer is a, is a little bit rounded there. And I'm gonna cut my first piece at the five inch mark. Okay, and then I'm going to put it now this one, I'm going to just line up so that it goes under all the way to the top and under the handle here. Okay, so it meets up with the handle, exactly the edge of the handle. And that is a half inch strip. So that is a quick way to do that and then move it down again line it up to the handle, the edge of the handle. Okay, and like I said, look how, because uh, I just had this um, little piece left. So sometimes that's just a faster way uh, to do, uh, to do a very delicate um, half inch strip when you're working with a smaller, uh, width. So we need um, 24 of each color. I mean, 24 all together. And as I said, it doesn't matter if you're using two colors, three colors, four colors. Um, some of them I did with four colors. Others I just did with whatever I, uh, whatever I had. Others I did with um, five colors. So there's no right or wrong. Let's see, I need, I need a couple more of that one. So half inch by five inches. <clears throat> and let's see, I might have, might have enough. Or I may have to cut a couple more. Oh, here it is. Here's my piece. Okay. Half inch. So once you get your 24 uh, pieces, and like I said, I really spend a lot of time just trying to coordinate the uh, colors um, for the most part. Okay, I think I have 24. Well, I'm short one color. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so now the quick way to do this, and um, I want to show you what we're what we're going to create here. So we need to have a four inch base that we're going to then be creating our strips on top of. So you can see on this one, oops, 
It's a four by 12 base, and then I'm alternating the strips. Okay, so um, this is a good time to use some of these cover sheets because we are gonna be covering it all up. So just get a four, four by 12. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is a real easy technique. I'm going to take my four by 12 and I'm going to put just a little bit of repo tape on the four corners. And I'm going to just put it on my mat. Okay, I'm probably gonna put it at the one inch mark I'm gonna line it up at the one inch mark. And I just have a little bit of repo tape so that this doesn't shimmy and move around so that I can build this border piece first. Okay, so we need to build this first before we can cut it. All right, so now once we have our four inch strip and we've just secured it, I'm going to just do four rows of repo tape. And um, if you want to use regular tape, you can. Um, because we're going to be cutting this um, in the middle, um, it's best to really secure it by adding um, quite a bit of tape in the middle. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to build our strips border. So we're going to take the first one and we're going to, this is a five inch strip and our base is four inches. So we are going to put the bottom of this at the half inch mark. Okay, it's going to cover the base and then extend over the top. Then we'll take our next color and now we're not going to start it at the half inch. We're going to go up about a quarter of an inch. So we're staggering these up and down. Okay, so one down, one up, one down, one up, one down, one up. And the that is going to give us, when we cut this, this nice effect here, um, which, creates a lot more interest. Okay, so just alternate your colors. You want one at the half inch, one at um, three quarters from the, from the bottom. One at the half inch, one at three quarters. One at the half inch, one at three quarters. So just keep alternating your colors. Yeah, I think I like this other color first. There we go. And now I'll go back to that color. So one at the half inch and then one at three quarters from the bottom. One at half inch, one at three quarters. And then continue to do this all the way until you have your completed piece and it will look like it will look like this this is the graduation one so you see we're creating the variances here one up one down one up one down and it's just staggered by a quarter of an inch but that's enough to give it interest and um and this is the key is to put it on a base first, because if you try to build this on a page directly onto a page, it would be a lot more difficult to do. So this is really a, a nice uh, trick here that I'm showing you um, how to do this on a base. So one at the half inch, one at three quarter, half inch, three quarter, half inch, three quarter. 
<laughs> Someone said they thought I was calling, um, when I say like to the left, to the left, that I'm calling out square dance um, moves. That was so funny. And here's the next one. You see how fun this is and how fast, and it's such a good way to use up your scraps um, because I know we all have a lot of scraps and you know we, we end up throwing them away when in fact, you can still use them to, uh, and you'll see, I'm gonna make two more pages out of these scraps um, that I, you know, was just sitting around in my, uh, scrap in there. <clears throat> so this is good to do when you have music or you're listening to some program or, or books on tape um, that you don't have to look up very often or pay too much attention to. Um, it just passes the time. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> and you'll see that some, you know, it's okay if every every few that you'll see that there might be one that's just a little bit wider than the half inch. Not to worry. It's all going to work out. And so... Oops, this one needs to be taller. And there you go. So if you find that your last one is a little bit like mine, I have a little bit um, wider. Um, not to worry, just going to overlap it on that last one, and then I can clip it. Okay, so now once you have your, once you have your base made, all right, flip it over, and if you have any that's over, um, overextended here, then just clip it with your scissor. Um, from the back side of it. Okay, and then clean off your mat just by rubbing it with your um, with your finger. There is um, this cleaner here, eraser, um, that you can use to just take out a lot of that glue um, that your Creative Memories Advisor should have. Um, and that will remove a lot of that um, glue if you have any of those dots on your on your mat. Okay, so now that you have your base done, the next thing we're going to do is really fast. We're going to take our 12 inch wavy trimmer and we're going to place it so that the arm opens to the left. Okay, the arm opens to the left. And then we're just gonna put our design right up to the edge of the trimmer on the left. So where the bigger pieces will line up right to the edge of your trimmer. Okay, I'm gonna just flip this here. There we go. So now my pieces are lining up right to the edge of my trimmer. And I just have to adjust it underneath a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You have the longest pieces lined up to the outside edge of the trimmer. And we're going to use the first one which is the real wavy blade. Okay, so once you have that in there, then we're just going to use the real wavy blade 
and we are going to cut that. And uh, make sure you press a little hard because you are cutting through two thicknesses of uh, paper. Okay, and then you're just going to get a base, uh, base paper. I'm gonna use, uh, this is Tropic Time, so I'm gonna use Dark Sea Green. All right, and you'll notice that one of these is bigger than the other. Again, not a problem. Just put the shorter one on the bottom and the bigger one up at the top, just like that. And when you have it set, go ahead and tape them down. These will be very close. You want your uh, wavy edge on the outer edges of your cardstock. Okay, so I want my wavy edge to the outer edges of my cardstock and my strips facing inward, both of the strips facing inward. Okay, and there we go. And then we're just going to, and I'm putting a little repo at the edge of, of the little, of some of the strips here, because um, when I put, slide them into my sleeves, I don't want them coming up so much. Okay, there you go. And you can decorate these with, um, um, I put a little sticker like this particular uh, Tropic Time had some of the border stickers, had a bunch of border stickers that you can uh, use and to put right in the middle of your upper layer. And then on the bottom, if you want, you could do a half inch strip um, on the bottom, right in the middle of your other layer. Okay, add mats, embellishments, and you're ready to use your, use your page. Okay, so that is our technique. Tell me which one you liked best. This is Tropic Time. I don't have mats on a lot of these, but I wanted to show you, you could put three mats across. Um, I made these wide enough, so these can be six inches uh, long. Um, this is Graduation. And I'll be doing a second page with the one that the extra pieces that we had. Oh, wow, I didn't think about that, but oh, that that's pretty cool too. And this one is winter. Okay, so I hope you like your, my technique. Uh, please comment. It helps me on YouTube and Facebook. And I hope you tune in uh, next time. And I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. It's Bev DeBono Designs. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get a notification every time I post a video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.